All right, speak to Nigel. What did you do, Nigel? This is going to go bad for you. Confess, and you'll save us all some grief. Oh, I didn't do nothing. So help me, Bob. <laughs> Drinks. The next thing I know, they say I burked someone. Oh, Nigel. I had one too many. I lost all my things. They must be scattered all about. Oh, and there's a knife out there, too. Could you get them before the Rosses do? Shut up! So, did you kill a guy or not? So, you did kill a guy. Maybe if I equip some non lethal. I'm sure when it comes to opportunity that I can take someone out without killing them. It'll happen. that the cover up I'm almost to level nine maybe I actually should have just saved all my money so I could have just bought level 9 stuff instead. Oh well. Live and learn, I guess. Destroy faster. Body. Oh, body. Faster. Move faster, Evie. <laughs> Where's the body? <gasps> Get 
<laughs> yeah, I have no idea how I'm supposed to knock those guys out without killing them. So did Nigel actually kill that guy? I guess so, eh? Hey? Nigel, I don't think we can keep you in our group if you keep shanking people. When we get a little oiled up, I don't think that's good business. Are you holding this man? Why on, uh, uh, Sergeant? I believe at a minimum you need a body. We can't find a thing, Inspector. You botched another one, Sergeant. <laughs> that smirk. <laughs> that smirk. Alright, Mr. Darwin. Or Dickens, I guess. How nice to see you again, Mr. Dickens. Is it time for another of the Ghost Club stories? As a matter of fact, yes. Follow me. I'm gonna kick this specter's Number ass this time. Barclay Square, four stories high and branded. Beware all those who enter. There have been many strange tales of this dreadful domicile. The earliest report of a haunting was said to be the specter of a small girl who was murdered by a servant. She could be seen at the attic windows, weeping and wringing her little hands in an agony of despair. Along, the house awaits. I'm about to wait for you, right? Are you gonna give me stay close to your target? Please don't. Oh my god, called it. Called it! Move faster, old man. That was actually very, very poor game design on Ubisoft's part here. There was, it was about like a three or four minute walk from the, our last spot to this spot, and there was actually like nothing between to do. They should have either just teleported us there, or started the mission closer this to us. house is vacant. Some say it comes alive at night with screams of terror, ringing bells, and slamming shutters. Although eerie, this phenomenon is easily produced by pneumatic tubes and valves. There are claims that a young man was caged in the attic. His only connection to the rest of the world, a tiny hole in the door. A young man who was reduced to madness by this extreme isolation. The legends all seem to focus on one room in particular. Free chest. Wait here while you investigate the source of that laughter, which is not at all unsettling. <laughs> Tackle one of the children. 
Animal. We're going it. Look at him go. We're being drawn to a trap right now. It's a trap. Now tell me, why were you at that house? What's it to you? Out with it. Right away. We were there for the treasure. We found a key to the secret passage. What secret passage? Yeah, number 50's got a secret passage. Here, take it. Just leave me be. Ooh. Secret passages. What the dickens? I've found a lock, but I haven't located the key. It's here. Ha! So this is how it works. Impressive. Get out of my house! What the hell? There was no one. His love for Rosa came near to equaling mine. It should have been enough to keep my beloved nephew away. My poor Ned. Forgive. Ned? As in the Ned that we met earlier? Huh. There. Mystery solved. It's all gravy. Alas, the myth has been discredited. There was no ghost in Barclay Square. Just a wretched soul, driven to murder and madness by guilt and intoxication. I think this is the makings of a rather fine novel. I wonder if I've got one left in me. Probably not even useful, to be honest. Got another Charles Dickens right here. Charles Darwin, fast travel. Is high cargo jack real quick now. Then we're gonna go to the next mission. Just gonna go for it. Run and go for it. Run away! Go! Yeah. yeah, boy! Run over all the things! Mindless destruction for no reason. Oh, no. There you go. Make me shoot you in the face. There you go. Pop, pop, pop. <laughs> Boop. Look towards that black diamond. Easy enough. Alright, 
Where's the next mission? Oh my god. The heck? I'll just take a carriage there. It ain't that far away. So long as I can find a carriage. How many skills do I have right now? Dose. Next good one isn't until... I need to borrow your horse, sir. Turn on a dime, please. There we go. Ooh, this one's fast. See ya, see ya! Turn no, oh, they can't we can't fit both. Go, go, oh ride the rails. Hello, Mr. Dickens. What's it called again? Um I didn't know you had a twin sister, Mr. Fry. Evie Fry, sir. It's a pleasure. Usually I would reciprocate the sentiment, Miss Fry, but today I'm afraid nothing will bring me pleasure. What's troubling you, sir? I am used to people challenging my ideas. In fact, I live for it, the cut and thrust of spirited debate. Lately, however, attacks against my reputation have taken a darker turn. Threats of violence against my person and against my colleagues. I do not wish anyone to be hurt because of my research. You help me with Staric Syrup. I am in your debt. We help each other, sir. My brother and I will make sure that you can continue your work in peace. And keep that fantastic you know beard. Bones. Only a few of their names learn from books. Hmm. Perhaps it would be simpler if I just explained the situation. A few days ago, a German colleague, Dr. Schwartz, sent me a telegram. He informed me he was on his way to London to deliver a very important fossil, you see. In fact, he should arrive at Charing Cross any moment now. Would you ensure no harm comes to... Would you ensure no harm comes to him? 